Hey how dudes, what's chilling? Welcome back to another Skyblock. And yeah, I was just cooking up some potatoes. Um, yeah, today we're going to be working on the gold farm, finally. Um, we're going to get our piston sorted, we're going to start on the piston pushing mechanism. Um, but, something else, I know that we only have limited amounts of pistons, so... Um, if we do run out of, like, things to do for the farm while we have to wait for more iron to be produced by the iron farm, we're going to be working on the mob farm, adding a second level, because I do want some more, like, drops, really. I want it, like, super efficient. I would rather have too much of something than not enough of something, you know? And, like, we don't really have, well, there's, I don't think there's enough, like, bone meal just yet to, like, fill all of these dispensers. So let me just chuck that in. Yeah, that, yeah, it, we're using a lot of bone meal for that nano farm, so do want to upgrade that mob farm over there. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Welcome back indeed. And I'm going to say it here. Um, oh god, my cat's here. Oh, shut up cat. <laughs> um, I'm going to say it right here. I'm going to be gone next weekend, so I'm going to pre-record one of these sky blocks. Um, so, whenever the sky block goes up, I'm probably going to answer the question of the day a day after that episode's been released. So if you do want an answer to the question of the day, then I'd suggest you answer the question of the day straight away while, uh, while you're here and not leave it till later. Otherwise, you're not going to get your question of the day answer. Just a quick warning, but I will be able to uh, pre-record one of these, one of Cornerstone, and then a new series coming out, and I've also got Pokemon and Sport stuff, so you probably won't miss me while I'm gone. Um, I'll have some stuff pre-recorded, but yeah, welcome back to another Skyblock, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, let's grow this red mushroom up. What? Why aren't you growing? Is it because of this thing? Uh, I, I thought we'd grow a red mushroom up before we head off, actually, because, um, yeah, I do want some more red mushrooms. I don't really want, like, the red mushroom to blow up, and we just have no red mushroom. There we go. Look, this is working fine. This is great. Oh, Iron Axe as well. Oh, wow. Instantaneous break. I never knew that, actually. I don't really interact with mushrooms much. Um, any other, like, s series, really. Like, only this series. Like, this is the only series I interact with giant mushrooms. Um, I don't really go to, like, mushroom biomes or anything. So this is kind of, like, a new experience for me. Just seeing these and harvesting them. It's kind of funny because I was planning to do this for my Skyblock Hardcore series and then I died. <laughs> That's how it went. Alright, let's just grow that quick. Yep. Yep, yep. And then, I don't know, get the ladder sorted. Huh. I do want, I'm just going to chuck a um, torch up here. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to prepare some pistons and stuff. Actually, I want to go visit the, oh, dang it. I want to go visit the villagers soon. Probably now yeah, probably now. I want to go visit them and see if I can find either a diamond pickaxe or some more redstone. So we can get like some more pistons and stuff. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Gotta go visit the villagers up there. Alright, been doing some little bit of shopping. I got one emerald. Um, I did trade in some paper. Uh, so we're on five emeralds right now. We do have a diamond boots trade in here somewhere. Yeah, I can't be bothered finding him. What's that one? Silk Touch hats. That'd be pretty cool to have. Yeah, I traded with this guy and he just gave me books. Um, yeah, and then there's a diamond boots trade there as well for seven emeralds. But I want to go get that full redstone. Yeah, I want more redstone. Definitely. Is that it for the redstone? I hope not. Oh, well, he's gone anyway. Um, yeah, I can't wait for the 1.8. Uh, yeah, I can't... I can't wait for the 1.8 villager trading because you could trade in rotten flesh um, and like other junk like that that we currently store in our chests. And on the other hand, it's got to be such a pain breeding them with that sort of stuff. Like we'd have to maybe breed some more villagers if none of our villagers we could trade with. That'd be kind of a pain. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. We got more redstone. Let's see how many pistons we have. Do do. Oh right, pistons would be in the redstone chest which we just made. Alright, so we have 19 pistons. I don't really want to use those sticky pistons. We've got 29. Ooh, that's a lot of redstone. How much red... Oh, I don't know. How much iron do we have? Let's go check over here. I, I like that. It 
it looks really good. Um, pretty probably want some stone brick slabs up there, but hey. Oh, 21 iron, 6 iron. Ooh, let's go make some more pistons. 6, well, we're going to make 5 more because we do need some redstone for the actual thing itself. There we go. Oh man, this is like the most precious stuff I've ever had in my inventory. Iron and redstone over here. We're going to have to bring the redstone in sometime, but I don't want to bring it in right now. Something else we will need as well is tripwise. Oh, I might as well chuck that one back in. I don't really need. Oh, where? Wait, 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 wait. Redstone. Where's the other tripwire? We did have another tripwire. I mean, we made one. Oh no, the other one's over there. Yeah, I I understand. All right. If you guys don't remember already, the tripwire design. Um, it's gonna have a tripwire, obviously, but uh, the pigmen are gonna spawn on string, and then when they spawn, on, uh, let's chuck that redstone back. We don't need it. When they spawn on the string, they'll get pushed by redstone, and that's pretty much all it is to it. But it's, it is very expensive, so I'm gonna get some resources as in like blocks and stuff ready and I'll see you guys in a little bit probably gonna have to make lots of cobblestone stuff lots of stone brick maybe I, I want to add a stone brick just to dress it up and that's gonna take a lot of resources so I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit of course here we are in the nether I've got my pistons with me which is probably a really really bad idea so let's just chuck all of that stuff in before we do anything else Alright, so this is the state of the never since we left it last in episode, what, 31? All of these pigmen falling, are uh, all the pigmen being pushed off by the mob cap. The mob cap of 80 pigmen in the never at once. So this entire dual layer pigmen farm has... I don't have any arrows on me. Oh man, how do I do this? i killing myself. I don't really want to do this by killing myself. How do we do it? Uh, oh, this is dangerous. I, I really want to kill him. Let's go. No. 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 Oh, God. Um, yeah, it's got 80 pigmen and stuff, so. Oh, wow, that guy got pushed off. Um, what about you over there? Oh, man. This is dangerous. Got it! Oh god! Oh god! I got hit once! I got <laughs> Dang it! I mean, that guy over there is gonna be kind of dangerous. I don't really have a bow. Okay. There we go. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Yeah, that's how the pigman farm works, and it's kinda cool. Kinda cool at all. Oh, uh, yeah, there's. Hopefully, none of them survived. I don't think any survive. Like. From any fall. Yeah, that's a lot of gold nuggets. That's what. Maths. Um. Five gold nuggets? Yep. Oh uh, no, five gold ingots? Yep, yep, yep. Sweet, sweet. So, this is the site of where we're gonna have the pigment farm if you guys didn't watch episode 51. And this is gonna be the height as well. What's the height? 90? That's not too bad. That means our pigment. Oh wow, that's already full. Oh, I forgot the stone brick as well. <laughs> Dang it. This is where we're going to have our pigmen farm and they're going to push into this very center and that's going to be kind of cool. So let me get to work on that. That, that, that. And I'll see you guys. Whoa! Um, those pigmen are angry. Let's go. Whoa. Okay, that's the problem. We're not going to have to... Oh, man. Gonna have to make sure we don't kill any of the pigmen while we're in there. Otherwise, we're gonna anger these guys. What happened to the stuff? Ooh, snap. Okay. It looks like we're good on everything. Maybe except for food, but I guess we can eat these stupid rotten flesh. Oh, yeah, the tools are gone. I don't see anything else. It looks like all of that fell off. Well, that's a shame. I wonder if these guys are still angry. That will be such a pain. Are you still angry? Are you guys still angry? Are you angry?
Doesn't look like we're angry. Whew. Scary. Alright. Back. Okay, the framework is done. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to have the pistons here. We're going to have tripwire where our head level is. And the reason we have the pistons there, uh, so we can push the baby pigmen who are spawning here as well. Otherwise I'll just be stuck here and decrease the spawn rates. Oh man, all of those guys. Righty right. My main concern right now is how to prevent maybe even gas from spawning. I mean, that would be pretty scary. I mean, hopefully all the gas need a... Hopefully the gas need like a 5x5x4 five by five by area to spawn and not like single blocks. But I'm never so sure. Why did I come over here? All the stuff that I need are ba is back in the never. Oh, do we have the redstone? Do we need redstone? Redstone. Yeah, let's bring the redstone along. Da da da. We do need two more pieces of redstone, which sort of sucks. Because for each of these things... Oh, another Scots being crushed. Did you... We do need 13 redstone for each of these because it's one redstone to hook it up to the tripwire and then uh, the 12 ones. Ugh. Dang it. There you go. This is the point where I never, ever, ever want to die. All of the stuff I'm carrying right now is very expensive stuff. So let's see if this works. Any pigmen spawning up here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like the cap's already been reached over there. So we put the tripwires here and here. I don't really care too much about the tripwires. Okay. Pistons. There we go. There we go. Yeah. That looks about right. Then we get the tripwire along here. Ooh. Scary stuff. Probably should have put some what stuff on along uh whatever it is i forgot all right redstone yep let's put some cobblestone slabs along here dang it how are we supposed to get back we'll get pushed um bring it yeah there's redstone on there i don't dang it well at least it's working but we did break it Right, I'm gonna go down below. Oh, I'm actually gonna place these cobblestone slabs along here, and then we'll see how it's working. Let's quickly just disable this trap over here. Uh, we're gonna do this by basically shooting an arrow into all of these guys, getting rid of a lot of these guys, and then lighting up the place. That goes away, that goes away. We go over there. All the pigments should have fallen. Yep. Yep, up. Let's just quickly place some torches over here. I think we'll have enough. What do did he I mean the crush is working. It's working. It's just that we haven't disabled all of these big big spawners yet. Oh dang. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Let's just destroy that. We don't really need it yet. And then Nah. N no, no risks. Alright, let's do this. After this, we'll make another of these if we have... Probably going to need to get another redstone, but apart from that, we'll try and get another of those working. And then let's break that. Paco! <laughs> that works. Cobblestone wall. And then as we head down, we should see the other crusher working. It's not going to be working too great, because it's only one. And only 12 spawnable spaces, but should be working decently. I'm guessing at least. Alright, let's see how this is going. Oh! Looks like it's working, definitely. Doesn't look like it's working too fast, but yeah, I think that's basically because of... Oh, more spawning! Oh man, well this isn't really working too fast anyway, but it's definitely working. Alright, might try to disable more of those. Um, probably not quite yet. Oh, no, I want the gold. 
Look at all of our gold we've got. We've got enough for another golden apple. This is so easy. Um, I think that's going to be enough for today because we don't have enough redstone. But that's a very good start. Oh, sunrise. I, I want to get another level of that mob farm sorted. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to get some more gold. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, hmm. If the question of the day hasn't already happened, or happen very soon, I promise. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Alright, it's time. Let's do this. Do, do, do. 13 deaths. I've been dying like one death an episode. But... This is episode 34 of the Skyblock series. It's sort of less than... Definitely one death per two episodes. So that's a pretty good rate. Although I've been a little bit not so good. Ooh. Oh man, we haven't filled all of this part in yet. Might as well fill this part in. Oh wow, all of those noises from the hostile mobs. Man, shut up dudes. Alright. Um, I'm going to do the question of the day right now. And then I'm going to organise one as well to do. I think the question of the day was, uh, how do you pronounce the name of the Welsh village? So, I'm interested to see what you guys responded with. And let's do it. Right, let's have a look at the questions of the day. Let's have a look. Alright. Oh, oh, wait. This is in the top comments. We need to set it to newest first, stupid. Dang it. Google Plus. Here we go. Mr. Toxic Vortex says, and I know a few people who can pronounce it, but they are Welsh. <laughs> Good on you for not even trying to pron pronounce it. Glitchy Mew Man says, Lip. Wait, I need. How do you do with a Welsh accent? Let me go, go. Let me go, go. Maybe. Let me go, go. Wait, oh, another comment says, Deep Throaty Santa. Let me go, go. I. Oh, I feel so silly. Kobe Tran says, Lanfair. <laughs> Whatever. Um, Drake Rabbit says, I'll just say Lanfair and then make a DP Freddy sound. Oh, Lanfair, then a DP Deep Freddy sound. Lemon go go. <laughs> Lanfair. Lanfair. Oh, there it is. We got it. And then Carl says, Um. <laughs> um. The the land fair pools when the rich when job will anti silly or go go gosh. Damn it! <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's get back to the. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. <laughs> I'm killing myself. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I've used all of my wood. Barely half done. Right. Gotta work really fast. Do do do. While we talk. Um. One of my mates, Sparks, from Accidental Games, he. Um, well, he found this Reddit post about. Um. A way of duplicating lava blocks. Well, not. Well, yeah. that That's sort of the best way to say it. Basically, if you have like a lava stream and then you uh, place a lava, uh, place a wither skull um, halfway along the stream, then the lava stream doesn't disappear or something. It's kind of a weird thing, but that means that we'd be able to um, what's it? We'd be able to duplicate like have multiple lava blocks on sky block, and that'd be That'd be really, really cool to have. Um, but all we need is, like, a wither skull per lava block source. Which is... Probably... It, it'll probably be worth it for Skyblock, getting a wither skull to duplicate the lava block sources. Because you only get one lava, block, uh, lava bucket, of course, in Skyblock. So it'd be very, very interesting to go get a wither skull for the purpose of getting extra lava block sources. This is not safe when you hover above the void. Do -do -do. Just thought I'd talk to you about that. Um, do you guys want to see perhaps us trying to get a wither skull in Skyblock? That'd be kind of interesting. Like battling 
lots of wither skeletons or finding a safe way to do it without dying. That'd be very, very interesting. Let me guys know what you think. And yeah, props to Sparks for finding that out, or at least advertising it, or someone on Reddit who found out. So yeah, props to him. This feels vaguely reminiscent to last, well, to the other episode where we built this. I think number 25, when we were rebuilding this entire mob farm, and we were running out of time slowly but surely. Yeah, kind of reminiscent of that, because I'm pretty sure we can finish it this episode, but man... We're going to need to do a lot of work and get a lot more wood to do it. We'll see how we go. Alright, I'm out of wood again. This is the progress. It's looking better and better by the second. But definitely to need a lot, a lot more wood. Look at this island. Look how it's really coming It's really coming along. I mean, I really like the walls and um, over there we've got the slime farm. Uh, that grid pattern, not so much. It's sort of ugly, but... I'm really liking how this is coming along. Oh man, I can't believe I built all of this myself. I place every block. Seems like a nerd stream. Oh, whoa. Dang it. Man, that's a little bit insulting to anyone who plays card block. Okay, more work time. What we're going to need right now is actually we're going to need to get some bone meal because these trees are not growing fast enough. So let's go over here. Oh, bone meal. Yeah. Boop. Yeah, we're going to need to cut down a lot more trees with the bone meal. So I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. I definitely need to collect some more bone meal. Alright. Catch you guys. Oh dear. We didn't finish it this episode. We will be able to finish uh, the mob farm next episode and the gold farm as well. I guess it'll be like a sort of part 2. Although I won't name the episode part 2 because I don't really believe in episodes that follow each other. I believe in like multi-part stuff but not really episodes which follow the same theme being called the same thing like this is part one of the gold farm, part two of the gold farm, part three of the gold farm. <laughs> anyway that's going to be it for this episode. Um, next episode is going to be pre-recorded a little bit before the um, weekend so get your questions of the day answers in right now so I can answer them um, pretty much instantaneously um, yeah and I'm gonna see you guys after the weekend well I'm gonna pre-record some stuff so look forward to that I've got a series coming up which you guys probably will enjoy so until then thank you ah, what is it cheers for watching dudes if you enjoyed please like favor and subscribe cheers for watching dudes catch you next time Oh god, no, that is so screwed up, cheers for watching that. Hmm, how should we do it? So, cheers for watching, dudes. If you enjoyed, please like, favor, and subscribe. And as always, keep on chilling, dudes. Catch you next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. I'll catch you next time. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. See ya.